Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Aces High by That One Game Boy. Um, so according to the game page, this was a game the dev created in order to learn RPG Maker, so there's a lot of like RTP usage, and even on the game page they admit like the story is, um, it wasn't my main focus, the plot is simple, the characters are one dimensional. But it was a good practice to work on my writing abilities, and I am not by any means a storyteller, as one of my friends described the story while playtesting the game as it was full of tropes and cliches and honestly felt like a fan fiction at some points, but at least the gameplay is fine. <laughs> that is a part of the uh, the game description. This should be interesting. Let's check this out. I always love like seeing these like... Oh, this is my first RPG Maker game style games. The story begins with a girl who attends the prestigious Ace, um, Ace Academy, a school dedicated to teaching and training fledgling adventurers in the making. This girl's name is Zura, and she was just assigned to her first field exam, a mission to explore a cave in a nearby forest. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. I don't think this game uses any plugins either. Um... The whole game uses assets from the program, no additional custom assets were used, just whatever came with the software. I'm assuming that extends to uh, plugins as well. I don't see any plugin usage here as of right now. What do we start with? A hand axe? Not recommended for combat purposes, yeah it's your starting item. And we got a power smash. In hopes, misses often due to uncontrollable swinging. <laughs> oh, hold on. One thing I gotta change. There we go. Good morning, Kel uh, Kellen. You're up early. Oh, good morning, sir. I'm up because I couldn't get much sleep in last night. Sorry, my snoring woke you up, huh? No, it wasn't your snoring. It was just nervous about the test. Thinking about it kept me up. Is that all? Come on, you don't have to worry. You'll be fine. Are you sure about that? I'm not really that confident or strong or brave. I just get in the way, um, way and not be any help. That's what you think. You already helped out a bunch by setting up camp with me and also laying the fire. All I did was, uh, use a little magic to make the fire. You're the one who chopped all the wood and told me to, um, told me what to do for camp. You gotta give yourself more credit. Your magic will be, uh, really useful for this test, I'm sure of it. Plus, you got me as your partner. Together we can get through this, no problem. Alright, sir, so, right, I get it. Let's get to this, then, and thank you for the support. As a spirit, let's get going. Kellen. I take it, yeah, you you seem to be the black mage. Oh, you're kind of a red mage, because you have, like, um, you have, like, um, MP restore, or HP restoring items, too. It is not a stick for battle, it is a placeholder, if anything. <laughs> Oh, the game actually has descriptions. An optimistic lass who is the daughter of a blacksmith she loves to go camping. That's not a nice character right there, so that explains why she actually uses an axe and seems to be very based around attack. A studious young man who that lacks confidence, he is very skilled in the culinary arts. I wonder why there's no music, though? Huh. Oh, here we go. God, okay, I love a lot of the music from the RTP, so this is pretty good. <laughs> so this is the cave where the test takes place. Looks like it. Our task is to find a peculiar peculiar item at the end of this cavern. Sounds easy enough. Come on. Not so fast. There are monsters around and about here. You worry too much, Kellen. We can take care of them no problem. It's what all the training and classwork was for. With my brute force and your magic spells, we can handle anything in here. I guess. Hopefully we won't end up dead. Okay, so how is the combat in this game? Hmm. You can tell a lot about it. Okay, I, I love playing, like, beginner or, or like, uh, you know, beginner-created RPG Maker games, but, like, one thing a lot of them really falter in is, like, making the combat really hard for no reason. <laughs> hmm. For a first battle, both characters losing that much, that kind of seems a little on the harder side, but manageable for the time being. Yeah, it's really hard to balance, like, RPG numbers. 
Worn gloves and a re-energizer. That's a reviving item. And the gloves are probably an add-on? No, accessory. Old and worn-out gloves, probably shouldn't wear them, but it does fill in a crypt slot for now. <laughs> Oh, wait. You're probably going by Final Fantasy logic, where the, the slime is weak to... Yeah, the slime is very weak to magic. Okay, already I'm seeing some, like, good stuff here. <laughs> I don't know, like a simple... Like a simple enemy that, like, teaches you that, yeah, some enemies will, like, have different ways to take them out. I think healing water would be better for right now. I feel like I should conserve my MP for a boss or something. That's a good healing item for, like, to start with. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, whoa, 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 they both learned a new skill on level up. Uh, That's a group hit, nice. That's good, too. The game gave me a lot of healing water to start. It makes me think that, like, maybe you're designed to use it quite a bit. Like, you're meant to be a little, like, item spammy in this game. I'm gonna have you guard, actually. I don't think that's as big of a boost that it needs to be to justify using it every three turns to keep it up. That feels like something that should be on for like much longer or even permanently for the rest of the battle. What is sparkling water? MP restore, okay. Inner cave. Another pair of worn gloves. You're new. It's this enemy. Um, you might resist this, actually. That doesn't seem like resist damage. Oh, that's strong. That's really strong. Huh, okay, seems like you have around 100 health or so. Oh, that's cool. So we have a we probably have a boss site through this door then. Let me check my stats real quick. I'm pretty close to another level up. Dude, that's a really clever idea for an item. Like give it to your player right for, before a boss. Not only is it like a convenient heal, but it's also it also tells your player that a boss is coming up so they know to like save and stuff. I really like that, actually. <laughs> okay, one more battle, I'll get another level up on both of them.
But what did that say? What? Was that a swear? What? There we go. Heavy cleave and treatment. That's a group heal, but not a very strong one. And that's a group hit as well. Okay, so that, that's nice that they give you the group hits early. Okay. This stands out from everything else. This must be the peculiar item. Just by the look of it, I would say so. Awesome, let's pick it up and get out of here. I wouldn't celebrate so soon, Zura. Oh, hell. <laughs> Kellen, stay behind me. Pig with a pick. Okay, there's a word for this enemy. Uh <laughs> That's pretty good for, like, a weak heal. Huh, okay, for a first boss, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Bit of a health sponge, though. Lash. We beat it, somehow. Yeah, we did. That'll show him not to mess with me. By the way, thanks for the help, Kellen. I didn't think I could have taken that thing on by myself. It was nothing. We are partners, after all. What a partner to have. I'm lucky to get a sign of a partner like you. Really? Of course. Your magic really saved us so many times, I felt like I didn't carry my own weight during this test. Okay, now you're just exaggerating, but I guess I did help out a bit here. More than a bit, you helped out a lot. Stop ta attacking yourself so lightly. Okay, I'll try to be more confident of myself. Anyway, we should get this thing back and finish the test. Sure thing, I'm getting hungry, so let's get going. You two really did it, good job. An, un an unlikely duo with good enough potential. Who would have thought? You make it sound like we were gonna fail. I taught and trained many students, Zura, and if I w it wasn't written exams, they would fail miserably in field exams. Well, I guess we exceeded your expectations. I wouldn't get so cocky with your professor, Zura. Anyhow, you successfully completed the task given to you, which was to, to procure a peculiar item in the Fair Forest Cave. Because of that, you passed the test. Here's the item. The Shining Gem is what you wanted us to get, right? Yes, you can hand it over to the Director. Thank you, Kellen and Zura. You two have shown your skills and proved your bravery by completing this mission. As the Director of Ace Academy, I shall reward you for your efforts. One Star Emblem. What's the badge do? That shows that you two are now officially Rank 1 Star trainees at, um, of Ace Academy. One Star, so there are more ranks above us. 
Yes, as you successfully complete more exams and missions, you will continue to rank up until you are ready to graduate from the academy. Sounds easy enough. Do you, um, do you have another mission for us to do? Zara, I don't think you can just ask for missions to do. Tests and missions will be assigned to you and your fellow rank 1 students by your respective instructor when the time comes. For now, return to your studies and classes and perhaps relax a bit until that time comes. But I like field work better than school work. I think it's good to take a breather between field exams like this, Zura. You need to catch up on, um, on homework anyway. Blah. Well, I have good news for you, Zura. The next field exam is going to come sooner than you think. I'll let Professor Dice take over. I was going to b uh, brief my class about this later, but I guess I can give you two an early notice. Next week, all the Rank 1 students will be tasked to explore and investigate the Vale Valley. Vale Valley? Not much is known about that place, and not many people have left alive, um, left alive either. Are you sure a bunch of new trainees can handle that? I believe it's a great way to test the new rookies and see if they can prove if they are qualified students for the school. Anyway, the mission is to explore and discover, um, and discover anything you can about the valley. Find any treasure, uncover any secrets, and all that. Most importantly, the main part of this test is survival. Survival? As you said, Kellen, not many students in, uh, s s yeah. Not many have survived in there. So this test is to see if the students can stay alive in an unknown area full of dangers. That sounds like a good way to test my abilities. I can't wait for next week, then. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Zira. Anyway, that concludes this meeting. See you two back in class. Thank you, Professor Dice. Congratulations, Zira and Kel um, Kellen, on becoming official Ace Academy's trainees. I wish you good luck in your upcoming trials. It's almost time for the next exam. I should probably prepare myself. Okay. You know what this story kind of reminds me of? Um, cool, okay. You know what this story kind of reminds me of? Okay, Game Boy, if you want some, like, inspiration on, like, a really good Magic School RPG Maker game, look up a game called Law Mage Academy, if you've ever heard about that. It's got a free demo up, and it, it, it is a spiping a demo. It's like two hours long. Like it's really expansive, and it get it talks about. A, it's a really good way to pull off a game like this. And if you want to like find some inspiration, that could be something you could try out. I guess. What armor to purchase? What weapon to bring? Do I have enough Zen? He seems lost on what to do. We should probably leave him alone and buy our own stuff. Ah, okay, you're not using a quick core, so I'm gonna have to guess on some of this. Um, <laughs> uh, that probably, like, raises magical attack or something. Blinky helmet made of steel, awkward to look at, and awkward to wear, it provides some protection. It's heavy, but the defensive value is worth it. This feels like a game where, like, um... There we go. This feels like a game where uh, where speed doesn't seem that important. That sounds like it's going to lower speed. Hardwood cane. That is way better. I don't know why I wouldn't buy that. That is a he enormous boost. Yeah, look at that. Your attack is almost at what Zero's is now. I could probably sell these two. Seven. That's a lot of Zen. I'm surprised those don't sell for anything. I'll probably sell that and then, like, just splurge and get equipment for everyone. But I want to explore around here a bit more first. <laughs> Can I have it? Does the badge actually get added to our inventory? Ah, it does! Nice. <laughs> Mail service. Good time, I got a package for you from your mom. A package from mom? Here, it's been here since you've been on that last mission. I'm so proud that you got accepted into the acclaimed Ace Academy. I've been worried sick about you 
um, the moment you left, so I decided to make you a spur of the moment gift. It's a homemade axe made from a special alloy. I hope it comes in handy, and don't forget to keep practicing how, um, how to forge your own weapons. With love and care. Your mom is a blacksmith. Yep, a pretty good one at that. Did she ever teach you how to make weapons? She tried and failed. But that's why I'm a student here, so I can be more than just a bad blacksmith. I'm not sure if that's inspiring or just being overly optimistic again. You know, that kind of wording- oh my god, that's good. Uh, makes me think this game is gonna have like... Like a crafting system at one point, but if this game uses no plugins, I kind of wonder how you're gonna do that, because like nine times out of ten when I see a crafting system, it's like used with plugins. <laughs> here you can train for more EXP and Zen if you feel you need them. The enemies here are shuffled around in a rotation of sorts. Currently, I wrangled up a few creatures from the fair cave except the boss. <laughs> Be careful and happy grinding. That's convenient that they give you like just just a place where you can grind. I kind of like that, actually. Wow, okay, with these new weapons, it's really easy to grind here. Huh. Oh, that's cool, huh. Is this going to be a theme in this game? Like, the, the game, like, figuring out really clever workarounds to, like, not having to use plugins? Because there's a bestiary plugin out there, a pretty infamous one that'll just do all this for you. <laughs> but an NPC in the town that just gives you this information kind of works in universe, too. Yeah, I was right about that. Okay, so it does go off Final Fantasy logic. With the slimes. They are weak to fire. Wow, how convenient that two of the three enemies in the first area <laughs> are weak to fire. Y'all doing some training? You betcha. Good on you for being on top of it. I just wish the monsters in here were tougher, but training is tough training. I, I gotta say, like, it, it is obviously very basic, but for, like, your first time ever using the software, I'm quite enjoying this so far. Zura, Kellen, congratulations on passing the exam. Thanks, Granny Ann. We're counting on, uh, we're con we'll continue to do our best. Just remember to stay safe, you two. Will do. I was just doing some training here. Even instructors like myself have to stay sharp. Not that I'll dis I'm disagreeing, but isn't the training house on the other side of town? I've been training here at the Mysterious House. Mysterious House, because you use a better name to be honest. It's really called that because no one knows how it works or how it came to be. The director discovered this place long ago and learned the basic function, but that's it. Can you tell us how the basic function works then? Yeah, if this is where you train, then we should try it, um, try it out to get tougher. Don't get so hasty, but I can explain it to you. The short and simple version is that the house sends you to a different version of the last area you explored. So if you two, it would be, you'd be transported to a different version of the fair cave. The enemies are more powerful, but the loot that can be found is well, um, is well worth it. I don't get it. I do! That sounds kind of awesome! It's like a hard mode version of the dungeon you just did. <laughs> so we would just be um, going to fair cave again, but it's more difficult to get through essentially. Correct. So that would mean you were transport, um, transport somewhere else, Professor. Yes, I was training in an alternate version of Dracoville since uh, that was the last place I explored. Isn't that the land full of dragons? Yes, it is. Anyway, I have to get going. I have tests to grade. Be careful, you two. Don't die in there. I really want to try that. That's a cool idea. <laughs> are you new? Yes, we are. See our badge? Cool, I'm also a new ace uh, trainee. Look at my badge. That means we can potentially work together in the future. That sounds like fun. I hope we can do that. Is this foreshadowing? Is this going to be a party member later? Yala. Hold on. She's not in that screenshot. She's not in that screenshot. Aw, oh, hell. <laughs> okay, um... I, I really want to try this. This sounds kind of awesome. It's kind of 
reminds me of something I want to do in one of my games one day. It's like just a hard mode version of every dungeon. Actually, wait, this, this the layout is different too. Better bats, okay. Oh, good time to try out our group hits. Oh wow, they are stronger. Shatter Staff. Oh, that that's better for you. And it reduces earth damage. I'm assuming they're all gonna have the same um, weaknesses as well. Like, these guys will probably still be weak to fire. Like, it really is, like, just the same enemy, but a recolor, or a stronger recolor. Oh, that was lucky. I'm not sure if that was gonna kill that guy in the middle. Another convenient concoction. I feel like we should explore a little more. This feels kind of short. Oh no, that was kind of it. Okay. A magic cloak. Makes you feel mysterious, and mystery boosts your magic abilities, at least in fiction. There's two of them. The hog's dog and a hog with a dog. <laughs> I should take care of one at a time. see how inaccurate this is exactly. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that guy's fast. I didn't account for that. I hope it's not like a 50-50 kind of... Oh, okay, so that's like a lot stronger. I, I kind of wish it told you what the accuracy was, because I typically hate moves of like random chances to just not do anything. I should have been using Power Smash more from the very beginning. Okay, maybe not anymore. <laughs> typically hate accuracy, like, as a mechanic in, like, every game, which is unfortunate because, like, every RPG uses it. I like it when I'm, like, warned ahead of time, though, if that makes sense.
I actually think that boss was more fun than the original one. Like, giving him just a little ally you gotta, like, contend with as well. <laughs> Warding Wristband. No random encounters when equipped. That is a really good utility to give the player early on like that. Okay, well, we have a lot more, uh... We have a lot more money now. Let's see if we can, like, purchase some stuff. That's objectively better. Wait, oh, did I just buy two things of the same? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good then. We have all the upgrades we can get. Oh, that's like a free heal. Okay. I thought that would like take me to the dormitory as well. Or, uh, no, that is- I thought that would like take me to the next like chapter, I guess. I don't know. Another day, another field exam to assign. Okay, students, today we'll be deployed for another field exam. This exam is significantly as specifically assigned for all rank 1 star trainees, including those other um, in other professors' classes. It will not just be your uh, U4 here. The mission is to explore the dangerous and mysterious land of Vale Valley. Vale Valley. The area is not, um, that not many have survived exploring. We would like you to discover any treasures and uncover any secrets the, the valley may have. Of course, the goal is to take prior, um, that takes priority is to simply survive being in the valley. Survive? Even if finding inf any information or loot in the valley can be um, valuable, your lives are more valuable. And doing nothing but staying alive proves that you can handle more missions like this one. There is one catch, however. A catch? To test your survival capabilities even more, we decided to drop each one um, of you off separately in random locations within the valley. What? Where are we dropping, boys? So you will be alone when the test begins, but if you manage to find someone, then you are more than welcome to work together to survive and explore. There will be no penalties for sticking together or for being alone. This is your choice, but just one thing, this is not a competition. There is no greater reward if you bring back extra results. The main goal is to survive, and if you do that, you'll pass the test. There will also be consequences if there are reports of you attacking or hindering other students during the mission. Consequences. I think that's everything. We'll be taking, um, taking one of the Academy airships to get to Vale Valley. The airship has specifically drop, uh, sp special drop pods for each student to use that will get them into their random positions. We shall meet at the airship docks in 30 minutes to depart for the exam. I'll see you all then and goodbye. Good luck. Kellen, are, we, are you going to be okay out there all by yourself? I'll be fine. I'll be sure to find you out there. That's the first thing I'll absolutely do. I appreciate that, Zira, but I should be fine on my own. I know we've only worked together in one real mission so far, but I came to really depend on you. Depend on me, really? Yeah. I wouldn't be- I would have been dead ten times over if you weren't there to watch my back. And here I thought I was only relying on you to cover for me. So even if you say you'll be fine out, uh, out on your own, if we do find each other, let's watch each other's back like we always do. Of course, Sarah, and thanks again for the support. Anytime. Now let's get going and we'll be late. That's the deaf sound effect, but it does kind of sound like a pod being shot off as well, now that I think about it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is like my favorite song in MV's RTP. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Where do I even start? This place is huge compared to Fair Forest. Whoa. So I got bees here. 
I'm gonna use we we have plenty of sparkling water. I can afford to use some of these um like heavy hitting attacks. You know what I feel like I could really use on Zero though? More MP. Cause like she can only use like these attacks like eight times. I just got it um I just got here and there's already monsters coming at me. The water here is at least fresh and clean. Maybe I should set up camp here. Ah! What was that? Could that be Kellen? I need to go and help him. Uh, what? Interesting. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I can take care of myself, now leave this to me. We have no time to argue, here they come. Bellatrix. So what do you have? They're both group hits. I'm actually gonna have you guard for now. You seem very much like a black mage, but... <laughs> Yeah, with them being, like, single-targeting spells, they're not really useful for an encounter like this, and plus, characters of your archetype tend to be physically weak, so I'm just gonna have you guard. Maybe use items if I need to. Yeah, Zora can do this encounter on her own. There we go. And that takes care of that. Something wrong? No, just wanted to say thank you for helping me out. Okay, no problem, just happy we both got through alive. I gotta say, you're not too bad for a fighter. Maybe we should stick, um... Of a fighter. Maybe we should stick together for the mission. Really. Fair survivability if we watch each other's backs, right? I guess you're right. That's official. We'll work together as a team while we're here. Things should be a lot easier now that, now that there's two of us. I'm Zura. You're also a student of Professor Dice's class, right? My name's Bellatrix, but you can call me Bella, and yes, I am in Dice's class. I thought I've seen you before. Nice to meet you. Likewise, Zura. Let's get going before more monsters show up. That sounds like a good plan. I forgot to mention, take some of these. These will definitely come in handy, especially with all the poison creatures that live here. I was gonna check if this is one of those RPGs where poison persists outside of battle. It is not. Okay. a very expensive like cost for for like the basic spell <laughs> I have to say in the last game I played it was like it was like four <laughs> oh she uses a spear you know, for a strictly a mage, that's not a bad attack. Oh my god, why do you have so much health? Get out of here. Oh! Oh, that's that- isn't that that girl who said she wanted to join us? Is there a way to her? It looks like there's like a wall over there. Maybe there's a way to go through the water later. You only have two more uses of that.
nice. Life Leech? Interesting, okay. I was gonna heal her, but maybe that'll do the trick. Oh, you can rest in those, okay. Uh-oh! I want to read this again. The Veil Beasts seem to often wander near water such as rivers. Perhaps they are protecting something that they don't want outsiders to know about. I'm afraid I won't find out as my time has come to an end soon. I tried using fire and ice attacks against them. That doesn't seem to work. On your guard, Zero, something bi uh, big is coming. Right, let's kick some ass. <laughs> So that note said that you're not weak to fire and ice, I think it said, so we should use lightning and just see how strong that is. Is that weakness damage? That doesn't feel like resistance damage at the very least. Oh my god! Uh, I don't think I was supposed to kill you that quickly. <laughs> Mighty Slash. That'll show him not to mess with us. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Why not? Looks like more is coming this way. Aw, oh, hell, we can we can take them. I don't know about multiples at once. We should run, see if we can shake some off. I guess that would be smart the smarter thing to do. Let's get going before they catch us up. Where is Kellen? I hope he's okay. This place is a lot bigger than I expected. I wonder if I'll run to Zero soon, but I can't rely on her anymore. I've been doing well so far on my own. I have to just keep uh, going. Not that I have a choice anyway. So now we have a, play or a section where we play as Kellen a little bit. Dude, this game is really cool so far. Like, for, for all default assets in your first time using RPG Maker, this is pretty good. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it off here, though. This game is, like, a little heavy on writing, so I'm going to go a little under an hour of episodes just to catch my breath a bit easier. Um, I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.